Let's have a session on ROCE, return on capital employed. So return on capital employed is a profitability ratio, and it's essentially measuring how efficiently a business has managed its finance. An example, two businesses, A and B. A generates 10 million pounds of profit. B generates 10 million pounds of profit. However, there's a difference in the efficiency here of managing the finance in order to obtain that 10 million pounds of profit. Business A had to invest 100 million to get the 10 million. Business B had to invest 30 million pounds in order to get the 10 million. So business B is clearly much more efficient in how it manages its finance in order to obtain that profit level. Now there's a formula for ROCE, return on capital employed, and that is as so. Operating profit divided by capital employed times by 100. But the important thing is where you obtain the information from. So operating profit is going to come from the profit and loss statement. And that's clearly going to come from the income statement, or if you do Excel, the comprehensive statement of income. Now, if it's an income statement, it will be a so, so revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, expenses, operating profit. And then, of course, underneath that, if you're an AQA level, it will be profit from other activities, add that on, net finance costs, tax, and get your profit for the year. And if you're an Excel, you change that to interest and then get profit for the year. However, the important thing is, Operating starts with an O, and that's an in interesting way to remember return on capital employed that you're using O, R, O, C, E, operating profit. So operating profit is in the income statement, it's on the top. That's where you get it from. Now capital employed, you don't find in the income statement, you find in the statement of financial position, or the balance sheet. So statement of financial positions, where you obtain this information from, it's important to remember capital employed has its own formula, and you might need to use that. And that is total equity plus non-current liabilities, so those long-term liabilities. Now, total equity is made up of essentially retained profits or reserves plus share capital. Retained profits or reserves plus share capital. On the other side, non-current long-term liabilities is essentially long-term debts, examples of long-term debts, loans, mortgages, bonds, debentures. And all of that will be found on the statement of financial positions. In fact, total equity, you'll find at the bottom of it, and the non-current liabilities you'll find slightly higher up that statement. Financial statement. Now that's in terms of the formula, let's look at some other stuff. So an important thing to know is that the higher your ROCE, the better. The higher the number that's generated out of this, the better. However, you need to look at that in context. In context, because you want to compare the number that spat out the formula to previous years. You'll want to compare to your rivals, to industry averages in terms of what that number comes out as. And also you'll want to compare it to the risk-free rate of return. What's the interest rate? If the interest rate is very, very high, then it might affect whether your ROC number is seen, is deemed by shareholders as being a good number. The other thing to think about is how to improve your ROCE. Well, one way to improve it is you could look to increase the operating profit whilst maintaining your capital employed, or at least make sure the cap operating profit is increasing faster than the capital employed. Ways you could do that, increase that revenue right there, or look for cost efficiency in your cost of sales or your expenses. Now on the other side, you might want to think about concentrating on the capital employed number. And one thing you could do is just to maintain your operating profit, but to look to decrease your capital employed number, well that will allow your ROCE number to increase. It will give you a higher return on capital employed number. And naturally that will happen over the long term as you pay off these long term debts, these loans, these mortgages, these bonds, these debentures, as they're all paid off, that will mean the non-current liabilities number is smaller and therefore the capital employed number is smaller and therefore your overall ROCE will gradually over time, assuming you don't take on more debt, increase. I hope that helps. See you in the next session.